Those brownies for me, Mom? Not so fast. You can take some from the pile. It didn't make the cut. Didn't make the cut for what, Mrs. Ed? For the Bennett High Bake Sale. I'm helping them out this year. The science department wants to buy a Van de Graaff generator. I love Van de Graaff and his generator. And by helping out, you mean dropping these off quickly and going right to work, right? No, by helping out, I mean I'll be running the whole thing this year. Won't this be a fun couple of days? We can have lunch together. Having your mom at school is more embarrassing than when Alex wore his underwear on the outside. Hey, what are you, a superhero? I just didn't want anybody to notice I got a rip in the seat of my pants. Oh, I gotta remember that. Let's give it one more shot. Let's give it everything we got. Cause if we get it right. cash in your college fund and buy everything, that would end the misery. This is the worst. At least you don't have to get dropped off at school by my dad when he's dressed up for work. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Dad. You have yourself a good day there, little darling. Love ya. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like parents get a license to embarrass their kids and they don't have to pass a test for it. Guys, it can't possibly be that bad having a parent around school. Easy for you to say, Porter. Your parents are... Wait, where are they again? Uh, Vancouver. Yeah. The Coof. Yeah, Van Groovy. Yeah. Uh, they love whale watching. Yeah, uh, orcas, to be precise. Out of my way, coming through. 10 cent crystal squares. Do not follow me. I do not wish to be found. You look handsome today, Carl. Aren't you glad I bought you that shirt? What? You, you, didn't, you didn't buy this for me? <laughs> You're right, actually. I bought it for myself, but it was too small. I think I have that shirt. Oh, it should be tucked in, though. I'm just gonna... Stop it. I don't even know you. I, I don't even know her. Who's the girl, Carl? She is vibing you. Please stop. Sorry. Please. A little loud, huh? Yeah. Angela, you are too cruel. If I keep eating your delicious brownies, I'm gonna end up the size of a house. <laughs> Time to add another room. <laughs> oh, Carl, you got a little dirt on your cheek there. I'm just kidding. Oh, you missed some. Let me get that. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Lennox. Oh, you call me Greta, okay? That's not my first name. That's my middle name. Mm-hmm. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, I love this recipe. You should. It's yours. Really? Yeah, you emailed it to me. Is your mom and Miss Lennox getting friendly? It's a little weird. I can see my future now. Come on, Carl. We're about to start the movie. It's your favorite, Sisterhood of the Traveling Nuns of Endearment. You better tissue me up. <laughs> Don't forget you owe me a foot massage. Oh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Could you bring over my purse, little man? Little man? <laughs> little man is coming over. <laughs> hey, this yours, little man? Just how little are you, little man? Are you smaller than a mouse or, or an ant? Or an atom. Are you smaller than an atom? What's smaller than an atom? Is that even possible? Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I can't see you. Thanks. <laughs> I made it funny. Hey. Hey, did you see that, Porter? Yep, I saw that. That was not good. Oh, this is a nightmare. By the time my mom's finished with the bake sale, I'll be less popular than a wet sock. You're right. I've done a lot of work to move your popularity a few steps forward. And one day, your mom knocked it back 100 steps. I mean, look at that shirt. Thanks. Man, I'd give anything not to be Angela Montclair's son for the rest of the week. That's perfect. What is? One not Angela's son spell coming right up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. OK. I don't know, Dennis. A restaurant that only serves bananas? I don't think that would work. Oh, and I got the name for it and everything. The Bananaria. <laughs> Porter, 
What has he done this time? Uh, Dennis, could you... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go see what Porter and Carl are up to. Don't steal my bananaria idea, okay? I haven't had a chance to copyright the name yet. Dennis? Kids' meals with banana-themed toys, like Banad's Formers. <laughs> Dennis, get out of here. Uh, okay. Carl? Where'd you go, Carl? Did I make you tiny? Did I turn you into an amoeba? Uh, did I send you to Peru again? I'm standing right here. You messing with me? Oh, man, this isn't good. I lost Carl. No, no, you didn't. No lost Carl. No lost Carl. I'm found Carl. Found Carl. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, thank goodness, Mom. Can you see me? Hey, Miss Montclair, you haven't seen Carl, have you? Who's Carl? Uh, uh your, your son? son? Are you feeling okay? Porter, you know my son is Alex Montclair. Hey, Porter. Alex Montclair? How are the brownies, little man? Brownie-tastic, Mom. Oh. Hey, that's my mom. And my brownie. <laughs> and my life. Porter, look at what your angel magic has done. Alex is my mom's son. It's kind of like my brother, but not. Why can't anyone here see me? And why am I still talking to you like you can? Hey, Jay. Whoa! Oh, never mind, whoa. She warrants a double whoa with a side of aye, aye, aye. Hey, Porter. Have you seen what they're serving in the cafeteria? It is so gross. It looks like oatmeal with Alfredo sauce. OK, you haven't seen Carl, have you? Carl, um. Well, Porter, I'm standing right here, so obviously she has it. How do you spell that? Is it like car with an L at the end of it? K-A-R... I have never heard of Car-L. Anyway, see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Wait, wait, don't I say the second part? <laughs> what evs? OK, that was not Jane. I mean, it was Jane, but it wasn't Jane. And Alex! Alex is practically me! It's like I never even existed. Maybe I should run away. To the moon? I heard the lunar cycle's nice this time of year. Pretty good for golfing, too. Don't you dare, Porter. <sighs> don't you run away! You gotta fix this! Hey, Sergina, according to my calculations, it's your turn next to help with the recyclathon after school. Oh, sure thing, Brittany. But we don't have to carry things, do we? Because I don't want to break a naily nail. You can work the sign up sheet. Okay, you got it, Britt. I'll heart the eyes and smiley face the periods. <sighs> this is just too weird. I couldn't agree with you more, bud. This is quite the big tickle. Well, you can see me and hear me. You bet. I'm a teenager from Mars, and you have three seconds, Daddy O. One, two. Ah! <laughs> Right behind you. Ah! Hold your horses, pal. I'm just razzing your berries. So you're so you're not an alien? Nah, that teenage Martian shtick is just something I stole from the drive-in. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh. <laughs> oh, for real this time. Oh. <laughs> I'm Lou. I'm an angel in training, like your buddy Porter. Oh, if you're an AIT, can you please explain to me what the heck is going on? We're both stuck in a shadow dimension, Dingaling. We're stuck here, and they're back in what used to be your world. Shadow dimension? Stuck? What are you, an echo? You're not gonna repeat every word I say, are you? Man, how could your AIT goof his magic so badly? <sighs> yeah, that's Porter for you. When he made it so you weren't your mom's son, that means you never existed in that world. And as you can see, without you in it, the world is a lot different. <laughs> Sir Gina or Serge? Which version do you like better? Oh, yeah. Personally, I think he has the calves for that outfit. You seem surprisingly calm about all this. I know, his knees are way too bony to pull off that look. 60 years ago, I was sent down to Earth for my training. Oh, what was your task? All I had to do was save someone's life, but I didn't even get a chance. On my first miracle, I messed up and I found myself stuck here. Well, what miracle? Oh, I don't want to say. Oh, come on, we're in this together. I magic to giant ball of cotton candy for myself. And in doing that, I found myself stuck here. Uh, so there's no way out of here? If I was a full angel, I'd have all my powers and I could navigate my way out of this shadow dimension. But that ain't happening anytime soon. Wow, even in the shadow dimension, Mrs. Lennox is the exact same. We're just saying something. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Who's there? She heard us. Yes, I heard you. What are you? Are you some ghostly spirit? Give me a sign. Porter, you look worried. I'm not worried, Dennis. I never worry. 
Sure you do. Remember the time you turned Carl into a goose and he migrated south for the winter? You were worried then. Come on, you can tell me what's going on. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Please. Fine. I may call disappear. Oh, that's a, uh, well, what? And let me rephrase that by saying, what? Dr. Kasabi is gonna go nuts when he finds out about this. I'm out of here. It was nice knowing you. Say it again, spirits. I am listening. Spirits, I hear you. You okay, Miss Lennox? Porter, you may not know this, but ever since I was just a little girl, I've had what my mother called a gift, my father called annoying. I can hear spirits, and they're here, right now. <laughs> okay, uh, who's here, Miss Lennox? All right, let me try something here, Lou. Knock yourself out, Daddy-o. It's Carl, all right? Geez, don't you call anybody by their real names? Geez, what are you, the mayor of Boringville? There are two spirits, Porter, and one is known as Carl, the mayor of Boringville. Wait. Did you just say Carl? Yes, yes, it's Carl Montclair. Yes, Carl Montclair. Carl, you're here? Yes, yes, I'm here. Yes, the spirit of Carl is here. Porter, <gasps> if an angel in training fails their assignment, they can't come back to try again for a thousand years. And you can add a heavy suspension onto that thousand years if you've made your human disappear. Dennis ratted me out. But more like raccooned you out. And you ruined my lunch at Flanagan's Fish Buffet. Okay, the truth is, I make Carl invisible or something, and the only person who can hear him is Miss Lennox. She's talking to him right now. Oh, Mrs. Lennox, eh? Mrs. Lennox. I... Mrs. Lennox, I didn't see you standing there uh, watching me uh, uh, appear out of thin air. Oh, oh, boy, that's not good. What in the world is going on today? Well, we don't have time to fully explain, Mrs. Lennox, yeah. but here's the long and short of it. Porter and I are angels, and what you think is a ghost is, in fact, our current angel assignment, Carl Montclair. Oh. Well, I knew there was something special about you, Dr. Kasabi. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to make Carl disappear, Dr. Kasabi. I, I just threw a spell at him that made him not Angela's son. Porter, come on, think about it. Forget the suspension. Altering reality is grounds for permanent dismissal since an AIT went missing back in the 1950s. See? Dr. Kasabi's talking about me. I told you I was legit Carl. Lou's here again. I hear you, girl spirit. Lou? Mrs. Lennox, are you telling me Carl is with Lou, the AIT that we've been searching for for over 60 years? Tell him yes! Yes! Although I barely understood a word you just said, Dr. Kasabi. <laughs> Porter, getting Lou back could be the biggest thing to ever happen in the history of angel training. Oh, great! How can we save them? I have no idea. <laughs> this is so exciting. Do you guys do this every day? Kasabi, if Ms. Lennox knows you're an angel, your cover is completely blown. The Angel and Training Commission is gonna have you suspended. I think we have bigger issues than that right now, Dennis. Just make sure you stay in stealth mode. Having her see a raccoon that can talk might put her over the edge. Well, it was nice knowing you. Why didn't you send me a postcard for whatever lousy job they give you after this? Are you speaking to spirits, Dr. Kasabi? Do you have the gift as well? Well, I guess you could say I, I dabble. A dabble. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Carl? Uh, Mrs. Lennox, tell them more to the left. They're more to the left. Ah. Uh, no, sorry, my left is right. His left, you're right, Dr. Kasabi. Uh, right. More? A little more. more. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's it, freeze. <laughs> no one moves. OK. You need to look for something that could be a, a dimensional gateway, like a, a giant swirling whirlpool or a, or a vortex of smoke and, and lightning, perhaps. Whirlpool, vortex, something weird. I've got a duck, say a soon. Now, other than that, how is everything? It... What are they saying? Oh. <laughs> oh, they've gone to look for the gateway. I'm sorry, I must have zoned out for a second. <laughs> I could really use a cup of tea. Here you go, my lady. Cup of tea. Oh, my. Dennis. <laughs> so, how does each angel in training get their assignment? Well, everyone is given a challenge that will help make them the best angel possible. Basically, you got what you need. Man, this school is huge. How are we gonna find the portal in time? I'll leave it to me. Now that I know what to look for, this will be a cinch. Don't move, Carl. Wow, look at her go. 
go. Shoelace. She should be on the track team. Found the portal. That was awesome. It was never there before. It must have appeared after you came here. Well, follow me. I wish I'd known you were angels months ago. This is so much fun. Whoa, Dr. Kasabi. You brought in Galagas? And Lockwood. You didn't think I'd do this without a couple of heavy hitters, did you? So, this portal between the dimensions, is it like a tunnel? Exactly. And now we know where the other side is, we can begin to open it up. See, there's the portal. Wow. Spinning clockwise. Which makes sense, since we are in the Northern Hemisphere. Hurrah, are you nervous? Because uh, my teeth feel funny, and that only happens when I'm nervous. Do you want the truth? Or should I lie to you to make you feel better? I thought angels couldn't lie. Yep, you're right there. It's been awesome hanging out with you, Lou. It's gonna be more awesome when we both get out of here. I'm just hoping I get the chance to be in AIT. Or at least the chance to update my outfit. <laughs> Dimensional portals are very fragile. It'll start to collapse the minute we start to tamper with it. And then it will close completely forever. Thank you, Galagas. No pressure. Mrs. Lennox, what we're about to do is very dangerous. You might want to step aside. I could get some safety goggles from the science lab. There just isn't time. I still don't see why you told Miss Lennox we're angels, Dr. Kasabi. I won't tell anyone. Yes, that's going to cost you, Kasabi. It's a risk I had to take. Now let's do this. Time is of the essence. Oh, yeah, 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 I can see them. Dr. Kasabi looks so sweaty. He always wears too many layers. Keep your magic focus near the edge of the portal. I think we're making progress. Yeah, I can see them. Well, you first, Carl. No, you first, Lou. Well, one of us is going to have to stop being so polite. I can't stop being polite. My mom raised me well. At least the mom I never had before. Let's do this together. <laughs> You've got to give it your magic, too, Porter. Okay. Why is it getting smaller? The portal's too small. It's not holding. You've got to get out of here, Mrs. Lennox. I could go great papers. There's not enough room for the both of us to get through. All right, we'll go one at a time, all right? You go first, Lou. What are you doing? It's the only way. No, 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 don't do that! Go! Go! So good to see you again, buddy. I'm sorry, Carl. But, but can we go back for? No, that shadow dimension is closed off forever. I know I've been gone a while, but when is staring at the wall become all the rage? Oh, he made it through. How did Lou get back, Dr. Kasabi? Uh, do you think? It is possible. I think Lou's noble action of returning Carl to his former existence was essentially saving Carl's life. <laughs> and in doing so, Lou has fulfilled the requirements for an angel in training. She's earned her angel wings. And as a full angel, I have the ability to transport myself between dimensions. I did it, Carl. I'm finally a full angel. <laughs> Congratulations, Lou. You earned it. And I finally got my new threads. Or, as I can now say, my new clothing. When will I see you again? You won't. Come, my dear. We have a lot to discuss. So, uh, Dr. Kasabi, here's Carl. Safe and sound. Does this mean I'm not expelled from the angel training program? Well, we may as well keep you around for a little while longer. I'm starting to get used to your shenanigans. It keeps me on my game. And I'm finally getting used to your cologne. Oh, hey, little man. 
That's my name, Serge. Don't wear it out. Oh, man, it's not your name. Carl's your name. Always with the mind games, Montclair. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Porter. Wow, oh, Brittany completely ignored me. That's back to normal. Oh, Jane, Alex. Hey, Carl. We made enough money to get that Van de Graaff generator, which is another useless machine for the science department. Do you guys know how happy I am to see you right now? I can try and guess. Oh, I forgot about her. What are we gonna do about this? Uh... Ah! Dr. Kasabi, you're a little late for hall duty, aren't you? I have been waiting for you to relieve me for over 20 minutes. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Lennox. Well, I won't let that happen again. Good. Wait, what just happened, Dr. Kasabi? Did Miss Lennox not remember that we're angels? Well, that's why I wasn't overly concerned, Porter. When we got Carl back to our dimension, it reset everything to the way it was. So all the stuff from the shadow dimension never happened. See, that's why you're the doctor and I'm the student. <laughs> Oh, Mom. My mom. Oh, wow. What a nice reception, Carl. Are you trying to mooch some of these extra baked goods from me? Your friends are watching, Carl. You might want to try to look cool here. Oh, cool, sure. <gasps> ah, see you at home, Becky. There's something seriously wrong with him. Can't you get him evaluated? Someday, I'm going to be just like Lou. I'm going to get my wings and become a full angel but maybe not someday soon. Yeah, you have a lot of work ahead of you, Porter. But that suits me just fine. Hey, guys, you want to go to Mama B's? Yeah, sure. I'm down. Hey, that's where we're going. We're going there first. Yeah, apparently they're naming a slice after me. Come on, Carl. We're about to start the movie. It's your favorite. Sisterhood of the Traveling Nuns of... Sisterhood of the Traveling Nuns of... Sisterhood of the Traveling Nuns of Endearment. Don't steal my banana idea. I'll get <laughs> Sorry, I just swallowed the fly. <laughs> Would you like a... Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Lennox. Oh, call me Greta. <laughs> what is that? <laughs>